We all think we know where the game lacrosse originated, but the sport is a mystery to many, so I'm going to enlighten you. Lacrosse has its origins in the tribal in the tribes of the Eastern Woodland Native Americans and some Plain Indians that lived in America before anybody else was here. And they decided to make the game lacrosse. But their name for lacrosse was back at the way. And the game that the natives played was much more different. Their, their game was played with over 100 to 1,000 men. And there wasn't many rules. All they had were sticks, sometimes with net baskets, or they had pockets attached. And they had a little ball that was wrapped in deer hide. And the nets were deer sinew formed nets. And this was how that's what they played with. And the people could run up and down the field. And the fields were borderless. They were huge, could be miles from 100 to 100 yards to over a mile long. They were huge fields that they played on. And that's how the game was originally formed and how they played it. It was a very, seemed like a very fun game, very tiring game because it was so far. But after years of them playing and generations of them making it how they wanted it, the European settlers came to America and decided to take over and do it their own way. And they came to America, came to the U.S., and they saw the game being played, and they thought it was a very crazy game. But they liked it because the sticks resembled a relig- uh, they resembled the cross during religious ceremonies, and Jean de Brouf gave it the name lacrosse, and he was the one that really started it in Europe and thought it was a very fascinating game. So he took it over and took it to Europe and they started playing it their own way and they changed it to how it is today. And then more European settlers came and they saw the game being played and they even liked it too. So they changed it to how they wanted it. And now the game's played from 100 to 1,000 men to there's 11 people on each side and each person has either they either have a six foot pole or a five no I think it's three and a half foot pole with a stick on it and then the goalie has their pole which is about four foot long and has a way bigger net than everybody and the nets are now instead of I guess the sinew formed they have it's metal with nets and it's triangle and the fields are only a football field long so only 100 yards instead of miles and now instead of borderless we have the box which is it's pretty much a triangle or no a rectangle and you have to keep the ball you have to the offense has to get the ball into the box to have it and if somebody takes the ball from the offense they have to take it across field which is called a clear and if you clear it you have to if a defenseman has the ball they have to pass it to an offense offenseman or an offensive midi which is probably was something different back in the day but now they call it off or offensive midi then you have defensive midi but if you get it, if the offense, if the defense passes it to the offenseman, they have to get it into their the other team's box to have the ball instead of getting a turnover. And if you now, if the ball's on the ground, you have to go pick the ball up or pick the ground ball up and you yell ball. And then right before you throw it, you say release. So your teammates know that you're throwing it and they're ready. And on defense there's three to four long poles and two defensive middies and that's the short poles and long poles are what I was saying the six foot and short poles are the three and a half to four foot 
and to play defense, you can't hit anybody in the head. You have to hit them. You can hit them with your stick anywhere in the body except in the head. And if you rare, you can't rear back all the way. You can only do it a certain way or it's called a slash. And if you get a slash, you have to go into the penalty box up to 30 seconds to two minutes. And after that, or during that actually, your team is on man down. So there's one less person on the field and you have to go that makes it easier for the other team to score or if the other team's on man down you can score easier and so it's a whole it's just changed a ton from how the original game was played and there's a ton of new rules so that's the facts and origin of lacrosse and how it was came to be and how it is now